Hi guys, welcome to AOS 3.0. Of course, we're on lesson two, and this is Instagram. So I'm gonna go through this uh, on this lesson with you through the Instagram profile, the what's, the do's, the don'ts, the why's, the how's. And we're now gonna take you through the second lesson and really build up on those Instagram skills. This next bit now, I'm actually gonna cover blocking etiquette. So I'm gonna press and hold it. Hi guys, Rich from Out of Smart. So today's episode is gonna be on LinkedIn. They could also be using those awful LinkedIn bots. Please, 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 please do not buy into those. In today's episode, we're gonna have a little look at Facebook uh, and how you can use Facebook to win a little bit more local work. So today we're actually gonna look at YouTube and how we're using YouTube to win us work and, and new jobs. You can get across your enthusiasm, your passion, your expertise, your professionalism. And this is why these people will want you and nobody but you. Now I said on this lesson, we're gonna go through it in Instagram Live. Obviously, I'm not in the studio now. The sales journey, the first interactions, and how we begin at looking at designing and planning a smart home installation. I am now gonna look at bringing in the actual design to that, uh, and then leading on to the rainbow spaghetti, the color coding, the choice, and why we use those. Note down the side here, we've got the glass section. We've also got another window here. So this media room is actually gonna be a little bit difficult to design in. So once the contract and everything have been signed, and we look at moving on to site, and we've obviously received the deposit, it, we move on to the next phase of the design work and that's going to involve cable schedules then have the speaker connections so the speaker connections are going to connect in a d-type panel like this I'm going to move the top out and they just soft welded bits these so excuse the bang and audio and now this lesson is going to be on the brother label printer i'm going to get my tape measure on here i want my label to go from there to there I'm going to knock that up to 19 mil. Um, today we're doing the lighting panel episode, so I'm going to take you through a lighting panel. This one here, what we've shown is everything coming top entry. So all the cables in this panel come top entry, but everything inside this panel comes to my preferred method, which is coming in just above the dim rail termination blocks. But in this lesson, we're going to go through DMX lighting control, how DMX works, what LED strips we use, why we use DMX, and how we look at bringing that in. It's CCTV and motion sensors, Wi-Fi and networks, audio and video distribution. This is of course gonna be the rat bill lesson. Kieran's a big chap and I was never really blessed in the height department, but he's still a big rack, isn't it Kieran? Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the rat bill lesson. So, powers and speakers addressed. What I then look at doing is working my way up the rack. The two 48 port switches, which are gonna be going in to the termination box. And we've also got the router, which will be going into the network termination box too. So we're gonna be using Composer. So we're gonna open it up here. Uh, we're currently on version 323. However, I do know there is an update available. So we'll do the main loads via mains keypads so that we can get the site up and running. Um, but also it gives us a level of redundancy and make sure our Zigbee networks are absolutely rock solid. In today's lesson, we're gonna look at keypads and engravings on lighting scenes and setting these up within Control 4. That has now brought my engravings across to here. And then we've got the lighting scenes that are built here, as well as all the lights in the house. And then the wireless ones, where we put the wireless ones is somewhere where the client can pick it up and either take it outside or bedside tables. They take you through what we are putting in racks to enable us to A, get some control of the power management. But the main reason we do that is for our remote access and remote monitoring and remote reboots. We are on an active building site. Jeez, what have we got here? 